Now I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be one of the coolest videos you've seen on this channel so far. And that is because Total Cool has got you covered. Now, if you're doing long sessions, short sessions, if you've got a small budget, a big budget, there is something in this video for everyone to keep your food cool. So let's check them all out. Okay, so cringy jokes aside, today I've got with me three different versions of cool boxes, if you like, from the guys over at Total Cool. You might recognize this power bank. This is what I tried to steal off Ian a little while back whilst he was doing a video, because it is a very good bit of kit. But today is all about the cool boxes. So I've got the Soft Cool 25. That is a completely unpowered cool box. So if you're going for uh, day sessions or a night or two, something like that, it's gonna keep your stuff nice and cool. If you're going for a little bit longer, then we've got something like this. This is the Eco Chill 33, and this is actually a powered cool box. And then we've got the TF Extreme 50, which is, as you probably agree, a bit of a beast. And this is ideal if you're doing longer sessions or if you're going abroad and you've got a nice cabin and you've got access to mains, things like that, then this is what's gonna really uh, kind of fit those needs. So we're gonna start on this first because this really is the, the flagship of the video. But like I say, we will touch upon these a little bit later in the video, just like I say, to show that there is something for every budget and every session. But the TF Extreme 50 it is a bit of a beast and this can be powered in a number of different ways. It's 12 volt, 24 volt, or it can be powered with AC mains. And the nice thing with this as well, you don't have to use a power bank with it. So where it's 12 volt, Basically, where I've got it plugged in here, this section can actually plug into your car or your van, and it's got a battery protection system, which means that it won't let your car or van battery drop below a certain voltage. If it hits that point where the cutoff is, then it just stops, it stops powering the fridge, essentially. So you've got no worries that you're gonna plug it into your car or your van, get up the next morning before you're ready to go in your session, and then it's gonna end up not starting and you don't get to your session. So it's really clever in that respect. But like I say, it can be powered with a power bank as well. And it's amazing how quick this actually cools down. So I plugged this in first thing this morning, we're about lunchtime now, and it's already down to minus 12 in the freezer section and four degrees in the fridge section, which you can, I'll come onto in a little bit, but you can adjust all of that to have it at the temperatures that you want it to be. But like I say, yeah, it powers down or cools down very quickly and it requires very little power as well. So the initial cool down will obviously require quite a bit of power, but then when it's at the temperatures that you set, it's taken literally zero watts. So this was fully charged when I first plugged all this in earlier and uh, it's gone down to about 80%, but like I say, that's cooling it down to that point. So now every so often it's just gonna kick back in just to regulate that temperature. But like I say, it can also be powered by mains as well. So if you are somewhere with a lodge and you just wanna keep everything nice and cool, because quite a few places have got electricity, but they don't actually have fridges and freezers and all sorts, then you can use it through mains. Or if you're more into camping and that kind of thing, then you can use it on a mains hookup or something like that. So it's got multiple options to keep cool and to keep all your food nice and fresh. Now, as you can see, this is actually made from an extremely rugged material and it's it's a proper solid bit of kit. I mean, that doesn't really show you much, but it is very solid. It's actually shockproof as well. So I'm not suggesting you, that you do drop it, but even if you do, if it comes a bit uneven or something like that, then it's not gonna cause it any damage. But moving to the actual cooling facilities, because that is obviously the main part of this, you have got two different sections. So you can set two different temperatures. So if you want a fridge section and a freezer section, then you can do. Now, if I move this off, ugh. I've actually set this to four degrees on the main compartment and then minus 11 degrees on the smaller compartment. If I'm completely honest, I don't really need a freezer section, but for the purposes of this video, I have done to show you that. And I've got some water in the freezer section and that is very, very cold. It hasn't frozen yet, but these were off the shelf uh, first thing this morning. So they were fairly warm and it is, it is ice cold. So I don't think it'd be long till that starts freezing. But then in the main section, I've got all sorts. I've got burgers and all sorts of stuff, cans of uh, Dr. Pepper, which is also very, very cold. Now the actual temperature of this can go from plus 10 degrees all the way down to minus 18 degrees. So you really can keep things frozen if you want to. And like I say, you can choose what section you 
want as a freezer and what section you want as a fridge. Or if you want them both as a freezer, if you want them both as a fridge, then you can do that as well. It's completely transferable whatever section, whatever way around you want to do it. Now changing the temperatures is really simple. You've got a plus and a minus on this little touch screen here. And to go from the larger section to the smaller section, you just have to press the settings button and then the relevant section flashes. So super, super simple. You've also got multiple different modes. So you've got eco modes or max modes. There's all sorts you can do to tailor it to exactly how you want it to be. And then of course, you've got a power button as well, which is a case of holding it down and then that powers the actual fridge off if you don't want to be using it overnight and you want to conserve battery or however you want to do it, that is the way to do it. Now you've also got a little chopping board attached, which is super handy. And uh, it's just a case of opening that up, sliding it out, and then you've got a chopping board that you can use. But that's kind of it really. You've got removable trays. So if I bring all that out, oh, you can see how much I've got in there. Uh, I've got more than enough food with me for easily a couple of nights if I was doing it on my own and that's obviously only half full so you could easily get a week's worth of food if you pack it properly and you know that it's going to stay nice and fresh for that time as well you can keep bits frozen so later in the week you can move them over to the the fridge compartment it's just if you're doing long sessions or like I say if you're camping and you've got a camper but you haven't got a whole electric setup something like this just works wonders Obviously, it is quite overkill if you're going for a day session, which is where these bits come in. But longer sessions, camping, things like that, it's really going to keep you covered and keep everything nice and fresh. Now, it's impossible to give you a gauge on how long it will last because it depends massively on the actual capacity of the battery that you're running it off. Obviously, if you're running it on mains, it'll be continuous. But for an example, something like this, which is the total cool 500, it will run off that for between 30 and 50 hours. Now, I know that sounds quite vague, but that's because there's so many uh, different parameters which will cause it to last longer or shorter. Ambient temperature, the temperature you've got this set at, if you've got it open like this, obviously it's going to uh, not last as long because it's constantly trying to get that temperature down. So it is very vague and very hard to actually say how long it will last, but it will last it's very energy efficient, put it that way. And this is mainly because it gets down to temperature so quickly. So to go from an ambient temperature down to minus 18, so the coldest it can go, it only takes 25 to 30 minutes. And then once you've actually got it at that temperature, it holds that temperature, even if it was unplugged for up to eight hours, again, depending on the ambient temperature. But I think that's enough about this. I will tell you prices of everything at the end. So let's move on to the total cool Eco Chill. Now the Eco Chill 33 is the one I've got with me here, but there's actually two sizes available. So you can get a 33 litre or a 24 litre. Obviously, like I say, I've got the big one here, 24 litre will be a, a little bit smaller. I'll flash up a few dimensions so you can compare on screen. But this can cool food, but also heat it as well. So there's a temperature range on this from five to 65 degrees. On the back here, you've got switches for warm or cold and you've got max and eco. So if you want to get down to that colder temperature a lot quicker, then you obviously switch over to the max. If you're not too fast and you just want to keep it ticking over, then you have it on the eco. But like the TF Extreme, this can be 12 volt or AC as well. So either a power, power bank or in your van, in your car, or it can be mains as well. And this you can't really set the temperature so much, not like you can with this one with the display and everything. Uh, this one's even got an app. I forgot to mention that. You can download an app to your phone and set everything that way. So if you don't even want to move and you want to change the temperature. Anyway, we've done that one. This one, it is, like I say, just warm or cold. But if you have it on the cold mode, then it will actually cool it to about 17 degrees below ambient temperature. So if we're out and it's 20 degrees, it will cool it all the way down to three degrees. So it is down to fridge temperatures, which is really handy. Now, again, it's made from a really robust material. It's airtight, it's leak proof. So if it falls over in your van or something like that, and you've got liquids in here, you've got no chance of milk leaking out all over the place. And then you've got this little carry handle as well, which makes it nice and easy to move about. Now, opening it up on the inside, there is a little divider, and then it is actually quite a big area. The divider is removable as well. So if you wanted to keep bigger items in here, then you don't have to use the divider. But this is, it's pretty much a cool box, that you plug in. So it keeps everything nice and cool for a long period of time. Now, moving this back, we move onto the soft cool. And this is a bit more your traditional cool box, but 
being from Total Cool, obviously it keeps things cooler for a lot longer than a lot of the others on the market. Now this will actually keep your stuff cold for four to five days, depending obviously again on ambient temperature, how much you open and close the lid and that sort of thing. But I think for a completely unpowered item to keep things cool for that long, it is very, very impressive. And that's thanks to the, the foam and the insulation that's actually used within this cool bag. Because when I open this up, firstly, you'll notice how tough the zip is. And that is because it's obviously airtight and you don't want any of the hot air getting in or the cold air getting out. So that's the idea of having such a, a tight zip. It's so tight, in fact, you get a zip lubricant that comes supplied with this cool bag. Now, opening it up, first thing you notice is just how thick this lid is. And that is around the whole cool bag. So the whole bag is this dense and that's what helps to keep everything so cold because it's just a really it's a decent quality of foam of insulation and to be decent quality and that thick that, that i mean that means that is going to keep everything cool simple as that and there's no other way to word it but you've basically got one main compartment there's no dividers anything like that so like i say it's a bit more like your traditional cool bag just on another level, on steroids, basically. So it's all a completely nice wipe clean material. So you can wipe the whole lot. So if things get a bit grubby or whatever, you can you can wipe it all down. That's inside and out as well. You've got handles both sides to carry this, but you've also got a shoulder strap as well. So if you wanna use it that way, you can do. This is actually removable as well. So if you don't like shoulder straps, if you think they get in the way, you can take it off. But yeah, it is a very cool bit of kit. You've got little pouches in the front. You've got little bits all the way around it so you can store things. If you're wanting something that requires no power whatsoever, because as opposed to these two, then uh, this is definitely the one to look at. Now, there's actually three different sizes of these soft cool bags available. I've got the 25 litre, which obviously corresponds to the capacity, but there is two smaller ones. You've got a 15 litre and a 12 litre. So depending on the length of your session and probably how much you eat, you can then buy a cool box accordingly. But if we move on to the prices now, I think you'll actually be quite surprised. So this obviously being the beast is gonna be the most expensive of the lot. And this comes in at 289.99, which I think is quite reasonable compared to a lot of fridges and things like that on the market, especially in the camping market. I think that's quite a good price for that. I definitely paid more for my fridge in my camper van, so. Yeah, I, uh, I wish these were available at the time, but this comes in at 109.99. And then the three different soft cool boxes obviously are different prices. The biggest, the 25 comes in at 120 pounds. The 15 comes in at 110, and then the 12 comes in at 100 pounds. Now, if you want more information on all of these products, make sure you go to the Total Cool website because there's loads of actual tech specs that you might wanna look at, which I probably haven't addressed in this video on their website. But for now, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been beneficial to you and hopefully you guys can all keep a bit of food cool on the bank this summer.